Probably the biggest trauma that I've experienced in my personal life was the death of my eight-year-old brother when I was nine. And because I was so young, I wasn't really able to start the healing process right away. I wasn't at an emotional maturity level where I could start that. The healing process is different for everybody. Everyone will take a different time to heal and everyone will take a different avenue towards the healing process. So for me, I wasn't fully able to start that healing process after trauma until I was around 17. I was diagnosed with a severe depression when I was 17 and that sort of is what got the ball rolling for me starting my own healing process and the healing journey from the trauma that I experienced previously in my life. I think that we're opening up a lot of discussions that need to be opened up surrounding mental health and how our society treats, accepts and supports people struggling with mental health issues. And we're also creating a space where we can start to talk about the effects and consequences of someone who has committed suicide. All too often, those conversations are swept under the rug because they are things that are really hard to talk about. So I think this show is kind of pulling a lot of really difficult topics onto the stage so that we're forced to examine them and start our own process of healing. I think depending on the type of trauma, it can really pull the community together or break a community apart depending on the individual reactions of people within the community and those directly affected to the trauma. For example, when my brother passed away and when he was struggling with his illness, the community really banded together and supported us through that trauma. And I think that my family's openness with the situation and honesty with the unpleasant details facilitated an environment where people felt they could approach us and help us if they felt that was necessary. I think Solitary to Solidarity is definitely exposing a lot of topics that need to be talked about in order to heal from this trauma. It's bringing forward many difficult, difficult issues that are vital to preventing this kind of trauma from happening in the future and to help those affected by the trauma start to heal.